The United Cup is the best team competition there is in tennis. Forget about the Billie Jean King Cup and who the hell even is Davis and why does he have a cup named after him? Okay, maybe there is no need to be that harsh but there is no doubt in my mind that there is so much potential for the United Cup. At the end of the day this is the only team event where we can objectively find out which is the best tennis nation in the world right now as both tours are represented at this event. And the entertainment value that the mixed team aspect brings to the tournament is far superior to the traditional team events. I love that the mixed doubles matches are almost always meaningful and even though I was rooting for Poland to win in the final, I wanted Zverev to win the second match of the tie just so we would have an opportunity to watch a mixed doubles encounter decide the fate of the championship. Because that would be a great showcase of what the United Cup stands for. And we got that thanks to Zverev's miraculous escape against Hurkacz and y'all know how I feel about Zverev but I can't deny he was incredible the last two days. But still, regardless Regardless of what he did hours before the mixed doubles title decider he was not the boss on the court for team Germany cause Laura Siegemund was and she had every right to be. I'm not saying that she carried Sasha and team Germany to the victory but what I'm saying is, is that it's good that Germany moved on from Zverev Kerber pairing. Siegmund's anticipation skills at the net were in a different league in comparison to everyone involved in the finals match. The way she knew when to let Zverev play she never tried to carry the nation on her own back. The way she knew when to go for a lob or go cross court or down the line separated her from everyone in the match. And I'm saying this because most of the praise for the win has gone to Zverev but there is no doubt that Zygmunt deserves her flowers as well. The same way the tournament MVP Iga Svyontek deserves hers too. I mean the dominance that she displayed during the United Cup was insane, there was no one even close to her level at the event and it just feels like she has reached the stage where she looks unbeatable. Or does she? Cause the ladies have started the season off hot, Rebakina clearly needed the offseason as she looked rejuvenated in Brisbane where she dominated everyone, even the bomb world number 2 Arina Sabalenka in the final. The most recent Grand Slam champion Coco Goff has bulked up and gotten even stronger and it looked like she even got solar to be honest so she clearly is becoming even more dangerous than she already was. As I said, Iga has been incredible for the last few months as she hasn't suffered a loss in an official match since October of last year. Then there is Naomi Osaka who is ready to fight for her spot at the top of the women's tennis again. I know that some might laugh at me but Maria Sakkari has started the season off strong so I wouldn't ignore her. The same goes for the finalists in Auckland, Elena Svitolina. Players like Alena Ostapenko, Victoria Zarenka, Donna Vekic and Jessica Pegula who all played well at the last year's Australian Open will definitely try to play the disruptor again. And then there is someone like Yin Wen Zheng whose rise to the top of the ranking seems inevitable at this point. The WTA shining right now and I can't wait for the Australian Open to start. I know that I went off the rails a bit but my two points are first United Cup is awesome and second pay attention to the ladies at the Australian Open because they will bring the entertainment and if you don't agree with that just take it easy my friend.